Hello children, good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss 7th class general science, 12th lesson, soil and water. First of all, improve your learning. Waste water released from houses is called sewage. Okay. The science dealing with the formation of soil is called pedology. Okay. In modern water purifiers, dash are used instead of chlorine to kill the germs. Ultraviolet rays. Choose the correct answer. In addition to the soil particles, the soil also has A. Air and water. B. Water and plants. C. Minerals. Organic matter. Air and water. D. Water, air and plants. The answer is C. In addition to the soil particles, the soil also has minerals, organic matter, air and water. The water holding capacity is the highest in A. Sandy soil B. Clay soil C. Loamy soil D. Mixture of sand and loam The, hold, the water holding capacity is the highest in clay soil. <laughs> Among the following is not responsible for water shortage. A. Industry growth. B. Population growth. C. Heavy rainfall. D. Mismanagement of water resources. The answer is heavy rainfall. It is not responsible for water shortage. Matching A. Weathering B. Clay soil C. Soil erosion D. Afforestation E. Fresh water 1. More water retaining capacity 2. Washing of the top soil 3. Soil formation 4. 1% 5. Growing trees 6. 99% weathering weathering is means soil formation that's why 3 clay soil clay soil have more water retaining capacity soil erosion washing of the top soil afforestation means growing trees fresh water in the land have only 1% of fresh fresh water that's why four answer the following questions explain briefly the terms one weathering two aquifer three percolation Four savage. Answer one weathering in nature due to the action of various natural agents such as wind, water, sun, and climate. The bigger rocks gradually break down and give small particles which form the soil. This process is known as weathering. It takes Approximately 500 to 1000 years for the formation of 1 inch soil. 2. Aquifer It is an underground layer 
composed of permeable rock, sediment or soil that yield water and aquifer could be a body of porous rock or sediment saturated with groundwater. Groundwater enters through an aquifer as precipitation seeps through the soil. Percolation Percolation is the movement of water through the soil itself as the water percolates into the deeper layers of the soil. It reaches groundwater which is water below the surface. The upper surface of this underground water is called the water table. Sewage Waste water produced from household areas and industries is called sewage. It contains the soluble and insoluble organic, inorganic impurities and diseases causing microorganisms. List the differences between clay soil, loamy soil and sandy soil. How is clay soil useful for crops? Clay soil, it contains finer particles. Particles are tightly packed. Water retention capacity is high. Percolation rate of water is least. The soil is fertile. It is good for various crops to grow. Less air is trapped between the particles. It contains larger particles. Particles are loosely packed. Water retention capacity is low. Percolation rate of water in highest. The soil is not fertile. It is not suitable for growing crops. More air is trapped between the particles. Loamy soil. It is a mixture of large and small particles. Particles are moderately packed. It was right water retention capacity. Percolation rate is medium. It is the most fertile soil. It is ideal for growing several crops. It has adequate air spaces between the particles. Harshit observed that majority of the houses in his locality get water through bore well, but no house has taken measures for rainwater harvesting. Guess the long term effect on the water table. If you do not take proper measures for rainwater harvesting, the water table at a place gets depleted and goes down. It leads to water scarcity and droughts. If you get a chance to interview a soil scientist, what questions will you ask related to soil, its testing and conservation? Why soil is important? Why do plants grow in soil? What is the soil quality? What is healthy soil? How can we protect soil? What is the biggest challenge for soil scientists today? What is soil conservation? Explain in detail. What are the methods of soil conservation? How does soil conservation help the environment? Which factors of soil are examined during soil testing? What are the limitations of the soil tests? Your friends conducted an experiment in the field regarding the rate of percolation. They observed that it took 40 minutes for 200 ml of water to percolate through the soil. Calculate the rate of percolation. Also write the procedure to conduct the test. Rate of percolation can be calculated by using the following formula. Percolation rate milliliter by minute. Amount of water in milliliters. Percolation time is minutes. Percolation rate 200 by 40 is equal to 500 ml by minute. Procedure. Get a PVC pipe of length 20 cm with a diameter of 5 cm. 
At the place where you collect the soil, place the pipe about 2 cm deep in the ground. Pour 200 ml of water in the pipe slowly. Note the time when you start pouring water. Note the time again when all the water has percolated, leaving the pipe empty. Be careful not to let the water spill over or run down on the outside of the pipe while pouring. Calculate the rate of percolation using the formula given. We call earth as Bhumata, the mother earth. How do you express your appreciation and gratitude to her? The earth, our planet, is a treasure house of resources. These resources make life possible on it. They are like soil, water, air, minerals, vegetation and creatures thriving on lingdom. Without these resources, it is impossible to live on earth. The earth, our mother provides us food to eat, shelter to live, water to drink, air to breathe, clothing to wear. So we need to appreciate our planet which provides us everything to live and also. It is our responsibility to save the earth from getting dreadfully polluted. Simple things to save the earth. Conserve water and water bodies. Plant more trees. Keep our surroundings clean. Avoid use and throw articles. Live by the mantra reduce, reuse and recycle. Don't Discharge industrial effluents in the river or other water bodies. Educate people about the significance of conserving nature. We can show our gratitude by following these simple things to save the earth. Purvika wants to maintain a garden. What suggestion can you give her to minimize the use of water? and also to improve the soil quality. Some suggestions to minimize the use of water to maintain a garden. Use mulch. Converting soil with a thick layer of mulch will protect the surface of soil from water loss through, through evaporation. Use the water available on site. Every climate receives some annual rainfall. There are many ways to take advantage of these free water sources including swells, rain goddess, rain barrels, cisterns, retention ponds. Another resource is the effluent from your shower, laundry, it can be used to help irrigate your trees and landscape plants. Both improve your soil. Amend your soil with organic matter. Since a well-conditioned soil holds moisture like a sponge making it available to your plants, roots over a long period time. Some suggestions to improve your soil quality. Add compost. Compost is a decomposed organic matter which is the best thing. We use to improve the health of garden soil. Mulch the soil surface. Mulch is a must for healthy garden, soil and strong plants. It stimulates natural ground conditions, retains soil moisture, keeps soil cool and prevents weed growth. Prevent soil compaction. Soil which is hard and compact will not allow water and nutrients to soak in and the 
soil becomes barren and dry this is the question and answers in 12th lesson children i think you are understand well please subscribe share videos stay tuned to learning thank you